It's 2021, by the way. Oh, right, because we're in the future. It's 2021. Yeah. And I want to see what the future has to hold for you. <laughs> Not much. Are you guys ready? I want to see. Let's do this. It's a Thing. Welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. You got Lanai, and that's Brooke Lee. Don't get us confused. Ever. We have a great show for you today. This show brought to you by the Star Advertiser, bringing ooh, you what ooh. Hawaii matters. It's Hawaii Thing viewers can now get the Star Advertiser digitally. Yes. Yes. We have a code. You go to StarAdvertiser.com, and you get it for nine ninety five a month. So. Are you testing me on the code? Yeah. What is it? It's a high thing. There you go. Also, Ooh. show brought to you by Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. Federal. And earn more, pay less with Hawaiian Financial Federal, Federal. Credit Union. They have a new location. You can do it on Maui if you live there. Go and sign up and open a, uh, an account. We also got to thank Kamehameha Schools, uh, which is building communities for a brighter tomorrow. Shop and dine locally and together we'll help create spaces for our keiki. Uh, to thrive. I'm an alumni, so. Today, our guest, I'm so happy to have her on today. Hi, Diva. Uh, she, let me give her an introduction okay, first, Brooke. Fine. Don't get ahead of go yourself. Go ahead and go ahead. Uh, she's an actress. She does all kinds of things. She's an uh, artist. She's, uh, she just does many things, and we'll find out what she does. Um, she was uh, on Pledge This. Mm. Uh, that was in 2006, I think it was. Uh, the LXD. The Legion of Extraordinary Dancers. Right. That just tells you she can do so many different things. She was on CSI New York. <laughs> she's done a lot of things. And today she's going to read uh, tarot cards and tell me how my future is going to look. We hope. Ladies and gentlemen, Diva Zappa. <laughs> how are you? Hello. I'm good. Hello. It's, uh, you really uh, looked Dug into deep. my acting career. Yeah. Thank you. I, I Thank wanted you to go that. a little, little deeper, but I thought I will keep it quick because we have so much to talk to you about. So much. Yeah. I'm, I can't wait to find out what we're talking about. And I do. I also should probably introduce uh, the fact that I have puppies here and there will be an occasional awesome. bark. We already experienced Pinguino. <laughs> I apologize. But yes, the may names. happen some more. I love the names because you, you named a cat after me. No. Yes. Well, no, I, I named a cat after Lanai. Yeah. Because like, yeah. it's yeah. like my you know, cat, my yeah. cat, who <laughs> sadly is no longer with me in, uh -huh. in physical form. She's always with me spiritually. But yeah. um, her name is Ulanai. Like, yes. ooh, Lanai. That's it's what the so women usually bit. say. No, they don't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Unless it's more of an emphasis of ooh, Lanai. Ooh, no, it, this Lanai. is a good thing. Yeah. This, no. Yeah. Ooh. Lenai. Lenai. Oh, yeah, see. I love it. You should get her to do that as a ringtone for you. Maybe I should. Oh, yeah, okay. But you, you do, you do so many things. What, what is it? The, uh, what are you doing now? Like, um, you know, during the the whole last year, what have you been doing? So, um, well, last year was an incredible experience. Mm -hmm. um, definitely uh, unique. Um, and I actually took that opportunity uh, to build a wall, but it's um, and did an art installation, uh, and I had a show uh -huh. of this piece. But it's not about separation. This whole um, the installation that I created is about connection. So as you travel down this wall, you get closer and closer to understanding yourself and understanding your connection to more than just. Um, your idea of what, uh, what a, like walls can be, can create separation and can create obstacles. And yeah. what I built was something to show you that the walls that you think you have are actually permeable and you can break through them and, uh, surpass them. Nice. So they don't and exist. when you say she like built it, I'm saying like, it's a huge insulation. How, how, big, how big was the insulation? It was, uh, 20 feet long. Um, well, actually probably probably like more like 24 feet long, but, um, and eight feet high. Uh, wow. and it was, and it had texture. And as you walk down the wall, there were handprints and you'd place your hand on the wall and, um, where can you see, where can you see it? Um, with, um, uh, I posted about it on my uh -huh. Instagram so you can see snippets about it. Um, if you scroll back through my, my Insta, but, um, but like physically, where is it located? Now, it's like, not it? anymore. It's oh, okay. not up anymore. It, okay. uh, yeah. So it was in the, a gallery, though, in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. 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 They had a gallery. And the show, we should have found a ended. home for it. Huh? We should have found a home for it. Can we find, can you redo it? Yes, I can redo <laughs> it. But uh, the thing about the this particular piece, though, was that it was made from all the newspapers from 2020, from yeah. like February to October. Yeah. And, there you but, go. That's deep. Yeah. Yeah. It's a whole thing. So, and then, but I didn't actually show you the, 
the newspapers. I painted over them. Uh -huh. I gave you a clean slate so that you could know that that's what you've lived through, what you've survived, and it is actually what's holding you back. I like this thing. But then you were like cathartic, you said, too, because as you were doing it and going through all the newspapers and putting them up there it was kind of like, you know, just purging and cleansing and putting it all there and then wiping it all down and, you know, turning it into something other than all of the dumpster dive that 2020. Yeah. Well, had, all of the chaos that it yeah. was. But honestly, I don't think that 2020 for me, it was not a dumpster dive. It was not a dumpster fire. It was not a, a hellish experience. It, mm. Yes, it's been difficult to you know, go through this yeah. and it's, there's definitely a hardship and mm. things to grieve and, and, you know, moments, but it's all been opportunities for growth and connection and really refining and distilling what's truly important in life. And I'm with you on that. And, you know, I, and, like and, and, it, and I hate to cut you off, Diva. I'm sorry. We just got to take a quick break. We'll be right back with Diva Zappa brought to you by the star advertiser. It's Hawaiian financial federal credit union and Kamehameha schools. Nice. We'll be right back. And welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Uh, Diva is hanging out with us, and we're talking about your art installation. And uh, it was made out of newspapers all from 2020. And you, what an amazing uh, idea. How'd you come up with this concept? I don't know. It just came to me. Actually, this concept came to me years ago. Um, and it all, I've been trying to make it for uh, like at least I think like four years, like three or four years. And then it didn't actually happen and be like this profound of an experience until 2020 because it wasn't supposed to happen until 2020 because See. of the year that we had. Yeah. Like it really was only supposed to happen when it did. And it, it was a really beautiful experience for those that got to experience it. That's awesome. And now you, you had another art project that I had to ask you about. You were knitting, you were knitting something. I'm not, uh, I'm not, was, I, oh, I still, still am. am. Oh, what, tell, tell everybody it's what, you, what are you knitting. It's an ongoing relationship yeah. that she has <laughs> so, with Emilio. Tell us what it is. So, so I don't know if you, like, now you'll understand that I kind of have a, um, this is very similar to the wall in terms of <laughs> the uh, expansiveness. I am knitting a scarf that will be one mile long one day. Wow. And his name, it's, his name is Emilio, named after Emilio Estevez. Of yes, course. Yes, he knows about it. Of course. Um. But it is, it's, it's, uh, I've been knitting him on and off for the last, I don't know, like 12 years. No, wait, wait a minute. Wait Has a minute. Has it been 12 years Wait a minute. Yeah, I think so. Wait Diva. a minute. Now, Emilio Estevez, the, uh, the actor. Yes. Yes. Now, Emilio to. Estevez lives in Santa Barbara right now, correct? We don't stalk him. I don't, but, I don't okay. know. Because I just, I well, listen, I was just with him. He makes he wine was. at our, at our vineyard and my winemaker blends his wines. How oh. weird is that? That Amazing is... connections everywhere. Yes. Bizarre. Yeah. Because <laughs> Bizarre. you know why? No one ever talks really about him too much anymore. Well, he's and, a um, and I was a huge so. fan of, of his. And when I met him, I was, I was uh, you know, a little starstruck. But mm -hmm. I got to meet him at least three or four times now because we make our wine in the same building. Huh. That's awesome. He's rad. I think he's rad. Nice so I named I named the scarf after him because the beginning of it looked like a 1980s video game. Nice. And there's a movie where Emilio Estevez is trapped in a video game. Uh, yeah. Yes. And not many people know about his movie. Like I, more people know about Tron in terms of being trapped in a video game. <laughs> Tron. But, wow. Um, but his, this movie it's called Nightmares, and it is not good um and my <laughs> my sister's in it which is why i know about it but, uh -huh. but it's um it just reminded me of of uh, being trapped in a video game so i named my Can, piece Emilio, is, is it in your and house this also was meant to be because it or him no the the scarf the, that you're knitting the is, it near, is it near you yes. somewhere right now his pronouns are him it's emilio uh, is emilio in the house He's in my house, yes, but he's too far away for me to get him at the okay, moment. Okay, well, maybe and at, he has, at the and, break. And he has his own agent, Ma so. Maybe at the break we can take, we can see it. <laughs> you, you maybe. Go get he, it and bring well, it. you will be able to see all of him. Yeah, that's it's, fine. Uh, and I can only knit him when I'm present with him. So, like, the bo his body is in a <laughs> in a duffel bag, like a, a hockey duffel bag. So, uh, <laughs> it's crazy when I carry him around because it's like I'm carrying a dead body. What inspired it, you to do limp. this? Um, what? What inspired you to do this? knitting um well the Forever, piece I mean. wanted to be that way i never know what i'm knitting when i start something uh -huh. except for emilio emilio when it was this big said my name is emilio i'm gonna be a mile long and i'm a scarf and i was like <laughs> i what like it's like i was like fine okay and so i just have been doing that for 12 years so and i'm going to continue to, to for at least another 15 yeah yeah and yeah 
that's where we're I mean, at. she's literally traveled to like other countries, sat like as an exhibit yeah. and like that like, is. I knitted. gotta tell you, that is commitment, diva. I mean, I. I don't think I've been in, I've never been in a relationship that long with, it, with, any, with anything. That's not true. You have children. Uh, that's a different relationship. Okay. You know, I'm just you're saying. stuck with them. You don't have to commit to it. Wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's deep. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So that's you, deep. so you're an artist. Uh, you, do you like, are you, uh, do you miss acting? Uh, do you, are you still acting? I, I act occasionally. I mean, I'm still auditioning for things and uh -huh. uh, maybe hopefully something will hit again and I'll get to play in front of the camera and do that fun stuff. It's, it's really, I love doing that. Um, yeah. but in the meantime, I'm making art and reading tarot and doing all the things, all the other things that I love to do. Nice. All right. Tarot. Nice. Are tarot. we, are we getting into it? Well, we, cause we don't have a lot of time with her and we have okay. so much stuff to well, you're ask gonna her. Save it for the YouTubes. <laughs> no, I want to do this okay. for everybody. Okay. Don't you think? So do you have to get your tarot cards out? Do you have them already? She's born ready, bro. Well, She's a zappo. Okay, there right you go. Here. I, I don't yeah. know if you have to go get them or something. Because we have to take a, take a quick break, and you can go grab them if you're not. Uh, so do you no, do I'm this? Done. You you do this for the public, or, you, or people can call you, or how does this work? I okay. So I post daily on Instagram. Um, okay. On my, I have a special tarot account, and it's Majika Tarot. My middle name Majika. Nice. M A G I K A. Okay, we're gonna come right back, and I'm gonna do a tarot reading on me. Don't go anywhere. Diva's hanging out with us. Diva. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing, brought to you by the Star Advertiser. We have uh, Diva Zappa hanging out with us today, and uh, you're a tarot card reader. How long have you been doing this, and where did you learn? So I don't, I've been, I don't know, I've been reading energy since I was little. little. Um, <laughs> Can I, well, I didn't, you know, when huh? you say energy, when you say energy, like, I, I just started feeling this thing on people's chakras. I don't know if it's a chakra. Is it chakra and energy the same thing? No. No? Okay. <laughs> what is, but wait, I'm confused. What do you mean you said you just so, started feeling like it sounded dirty? What did you just say? I, yeah, I, you... can, I, can feel, I can feel people more now today than I did five years ago. Like I can walk by somebody and I go, that person is angry or this person is happy. Or so you're, when you're somebody... sensing their energy. Yes, I'm and, sensing and their energy. And in terms of chakras, those are um, like... Well, I, you know, I, I would, I describe them more as like portals, like little spots on your body that, uh, need to be, that are either open or closed. And, and in order for you to be basically like, if in terms of an engine, if you're on, if you're running, like purring, like a kitten, uh -huh. everything is, is open and flowing. And sometimes your chakras can be, um, Closed, little, really a tight, closed, or a little like full of gunk, and <laughs> then you need to clean it out. And that's when you'd have an energy worker or someone who works in that field um, help shift your your I blocks. Feel, I feel I feel it more, more. I feel more sensitive to it now. Look and the reason you. why I say I say chakras is I met a girl who was like nine years old, and her grandfather said. Um, she, this girl really likes watching what you do on TV and stuff. And she, and he goes, she's an energy. Uh, she reads people's chakras. And I was with my business partner at the time. We just got in a huge argument and she looked at me and said, Oh, uncle, um, you're yellow and blue. And I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> and then she had a chart and it was meant good things. Like uh. I was empathetic and I was uh. loving and, and then, and she looked at my partner in a weird way and she goes, he's red <laughs> and it was anger. And we yeah. just got through, I wasn't arguing with him. He just got out of a big argument. Huh. So, and then I, that's when I started thinking about people's energies. And then now it's like, I'm sensitive to it. Sensitive. Yeah. You're just okay. aware. You're opening up. I Look think that, you. I think 2020 really knocked yeah. a lot of people uh, into a new, new way of thinking and like, mm. and it's, shocked it's good and to, bad though, because awaken. I, it's good and bad because I cry more now. Do I, you? I, oh, that's yeah. Not bad. That's not bad. Oh, it's, I feel like a baby sometimes. Aww. All right, well, that's your own judgment on yourself about exactly. that stuff. Exactly. Yeah. You gotta it's let so, that go. It's okay, okay to be not okay. I'm it's gonna okay. let it go. Okay. Brooke makes All right, cry so am I gonna read a card or two yeah, for you? Yeah, please, please do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull like three cards for you. Okay, and, and when you say pull cards, for people who don't know what tarot is, tell, explain a little bit while you're doing this. Well, I mean, tarot, tarot cards are um, used to help uh, I guess bring more information in, into your, your, like if you have questions, it ha it's a tool to use to give yourself guidance in okay. whatever direction that you, you are, so are you looking to go. Of a question right now? Um, are you thinking of anything? There, there are no bad cards. It's just information. So take what you want and leave what you don't is okay. like what I say. And yeah. I don't, um, it's, it's just, this is a moment for you to get clarity on, on how to, 
move forward. All right. Should I ask you a question or are you just going to tell me what you what you're vibing? If you want, if there's something specific you want to know about, I can pull a card about that or I can just do a general and see what I what the cards want to share let's with you. So general. I read the energy of the cards right. and I tell the story they a, want to share. Let's so do a general. Do and, let's do a general and I, and I do have a question. Oh, okay. Later. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, All right. I'm, I'm worried about. Oh, shoot. Hawaii. We're going to get deep. <laughs> no, it's, I think everyone worries about it. Okay. But I've been more worried about it lately, I think. Because you're sensitive. I'm getting, well, I'm getting older, right? Oh. You start worrying about more okay. other things. So I'm just going to see what cards fall out All right. uh, or what, they, what ones want to say hi. And by the way, she has like some deep connections to Hawaii, just so you know. Yeah, we're, we're going to talk about that yeah. too. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, she named her um, cat after me. Oh, all right. So I've pulled the eight of cups. Okay. Ooh. Well. Um, so cups are emotion and oh. mm -hmm. uh, eights are longevity. Mm. And um, this is about your heart. This is about um, really deciding like what direction you want to go that fulfills you in deeper, more meaningful ways. Oh my gosh. I got to tell you what I'm battling with right now. But Wait, gotta... are you about to cry? Your eyes are all like totally <laughs> shiny. I, I got a little, uh, I got chicken skin. I tell you that, but we got to take a break now because we got to do He's this. He's having a breakdown Pace. Hawaii. No, I'm not having a breakdown, okay. but this is a little deep because one of my questions was is coming up in a minute. <laughs> Cliff Angus. Diva Zappa's hanging out with us. Don't go anywhere. It's a Hawaii thing. <laughs> Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Diva Zappa's hanging out with us. Uh, we're doing a little tarot card reading. And, and you, mm -hmm. came up, you came up with, once again, tell everybody. Oh, eight card. of cups. But I don't eight know of, what I said because I don't remember things. Eight of cups. And you're talking about my heart <laughs> and uh, being, was it sensitive or you said that? Well, you're sensitive. Well, well no, the, you, this is longevity. This is, longevity, that's what it yes. is. You have to decide, like, how you want to move forward that really gives so you more, more this, fulfillment and meaning. 2020. I was involved with a big program that uh, I worked with a good friend and we were feeding the kupuna and helping our elderly get food because they were locked up in, in a sense, right? right? And then I got offered a job to go that way, right. a, a really good job. And then uh, I started getting involved in other community stuff. And I've always been involved in community work. Like I've all, in, on, on the side, I've always helped the orphanages and I go to the Philippines and feed and stuff. So I've been torn uh the past six months literally if i should go do that full time really how whoa okay what okay so oh that's interesting um i've pulled i'm getting hot. oh okay now i'm excited <laughs> all right so there were some other cards that wanted to come out and i was like waiting for your question so i could understand it uh -huh. the next card that came out is the four of pentacle uh four of coins sorry okay. and so this is earth and four is stability so i think one of the questions you've had is obviously everybody questions money but the other thing about earth and coin is that it's where you're at home and your stability in your body your stability and uh in in your grounding where you feel secure uh and then the the other cards that came out are the hierophant and the wheel of fortune why are you shaking your so, head is that bad <laughs> these are the cards and what uh -huh. i love about this for you and for that is you are question you've been questioning your uh your power, your strength, your abilities, because there, there is an unknown and things are working for your benefit behind the scenes. Like things are whatever you, you don't really have to worry about it. You don't have to question whether you should do this or that, because it's going to happen no matter what. Mm -hmm. um, but what you need to do is really focus on uh, becoming more of a teacher and spreading that your gift and sharing who you are. And so that more people can tap into their gifts because oh, nice. you are there to to provide that you know what and so, you are kind of afraid of stepping into that realm that very, no, thing, very that's afraid. why you're questioning it. You, you, but you know what i'm afraid because it's draining it takes it's all only draining because you're nervous that you aren't you're, it's only draining because you're nervous because you aren't actually um enough like you think that you're not enough but you are like if you step into your actual power you're connected to more than yourself and mm. that will flow mm. through you and it won't be draining it will be fulfilling see I, I think the fulfilling part has been I've been fulfilled like I love doing what I do and I love the you know it's always been on the side I guess it hasn't been full time because um, our mother my mother raised us to do that right but I guess the question is maybe the the coin thing came up because it's like could I make a living off of it and survive that's what you're afraid of yeah yeah is that that's and what I'm afraid of okay 
I would I would let that go right. because this is this is a long term thing. And if you want to know if you like, yes, there's a relationship there that's going to be so fulfilling. This is the two of cups. Yes, <laughs> you're good. All right, you're good to go. Now, the, the question I was going to ask is, will I? Can I? Am I going to be alive long enough to do? Because <laughs> you know, well, you get older, your health issues, and then uh, so I've been really worried about my health. Like I run every day. I try to eat good. Blah blah blah. But well, the more that you think about you not having good health, the yeah. more you're going to stress about it and create opportunities for your body to break down. That's true. I, I think that you are taking care of yourself. I think that uh, you're using other uh, um, aspects of fear to stop yourself from doing something mm -hmm. that you really care about. Mm -hmm. And you need to just focus on what actually brings yourself joy. Now, Is that a rainbow right over you right you now? Yeah, and you got a rainbow right over you yeah, right now. Yeah, because her mom's <laughs> always with her, and her mom is totally in this moment right now, uh, and this is like a Hawaii sign. Are we? Do we have to say bye now? Are we saying bye? Oh, we're saying bye. Godly. No, well, but we're uh, going to the yes, YouTube. I know, but for everyone who's watching on television, you oh. can go uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, Diva, you, you are an amazing person. She oh, is. thank you. It's so nice to meet you. You too. We're, we're going to continue this conversation, though. On YouTube. Uh, Go to on, YouTube. On YouTube. Go to YouTube. Well, yeah. Tell everybody real quick, what's your Instagram? I have two of them. So it's at Diva Zappa, and my tarot account um, is at Majika Tarot, and that's M-A-G-I-K-A Tarot, T-A-R-O-T. We love you. We got a great gift for you from Enjoy Snacks. Oh, we don't and, have it with and, us And right uh, we'll talk to you soon. Go to the <laughs> YouTube channel. Aloha, Diva Zappa. <laughs> Thanks, Diva. We love you. Love you more. Thank you so much. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Uh, Diva Zappa is hanging out with us. For those of you who uh, watched the first part of this interview, thanks for joining us. Tell all your friends about it. Uh, Diva was doing some tarot card reading uh, for me. And, uh, Blew your mind. Yeah, pretty Blew much. Blew his mind, he, she did. Yeah. Pretty, I, yeah, I got a little sensitive there. Aww. Got some chicken skin going and See? everything. Uh, but thank you for that. Yeah, the oh, health thing, welcome. I'm not going to worry about it. And uh, helping people, I'm not going to stop. Um, but I Good. don't know. But if I do, if I do just completely go 100% and... But go everything do you that. do is a hundred percent. So like you're but the, then you're, the way you're thinking but about then it we is won't be either doing or. This anymore. That's there the is thing. no either or. It's always an and. True. Yeah. See, there you go. Yeah. Thank you, Brooke. You're exactly. welcome. Yeah. yeah. Also, you don't have to worry about how it all works out, like how it happens, because that's what the wheel of fortune is. There, that is like, that is a card that's about everything behind the scenes happening in its own perfect timing, and yeah. whether you whatever you do, like you don't have to focus on it. It's like, it's like out of the blue getting a phone call and there's your opportunity. That kind of thing, it just yeah. kind of happens. Yeah. yeah, noticing I don't enjoy the moments too much anymore. Why? Because I'm worried about what I got to do tomorrow. Why? Because there's a lot I got to do. Right. But it's <laughs> going to but you're going to do it. You're going to do it no matter what cuz you breathe in and out and the day moves True. before you so you might as well not worry about there's a higher pay grade I involved. I know. Buddy. I think what it is is it's I, uh, people are depending on me. Like for, okay, 2020 for example, a lot of people didn't have jobs. We literally our team created a lot of jobs for people. Right. And then you feel like I got to keep supporting these people. But I've you, never felt like that before. Well, that's not true because you're a parent. So you had to make a whole world happen for two beautiful girls that's that have a been raised. It's feeling. not. It's the same paradigm. Just you I, didn't, I, they didn't come out of your same paradigm, baby but it, mama's. You don't feel it like that. It, I feel it different. That's a mentality breakthrough that true, you need to have. That's all that is. Is there anything else that you see there, Diva? Like should, oh, I, he's should like, I get away? Should I run away from Brooke? Is there anything? I, is this a good relationship am I, here? What's happening? <laughs> what's happening? Well, I, I thought we were done, so I kind of put the cards away. Oh, but no, I, no, I can, no, I can pull done. another one if you yeah, want. Yeah, please, just just do one more for Ooh, the Oh, he's of addicted. It. Ooh, Hawaii. I addicted. know this is what happens. Wow. You get very excited, and you're like, oh, there's more. Is there anything else? <laughs> Let me see. When um, you when you pull the card, are you? Because we can't see you. Just so everyone knows, are you shuffling or is it laid out on a on a table? What what's going on? Well, my table right now is is uh, blocked by all of the gear for this podcast <laughs> okay. this situation. So uh, I I, sh I just shuffled and um, cards kind of pop and I can feel them and they uh, the energy like they I just feel them and they also talk to me. It's so but crazy. We're talking about energy mm -hmm. and she has this rainbow coming right. On yeah, her, yeah, yeah. On her <laughs> She's forehead. always been like a magical elf her whole life. Yeah, so well, yeah. yeah, it's well. kind I of a can't, thing. I can't hide it. You guys You've no. come from a, no. a magical um, family. Yes. So. so the card that fell out now is a bunch of swords. It's a Ooh. nine of swords. Ooh. Okay. And in 
this deck, so what I love about this deck, this is my friend Melinda Lee Holm. She, she made this deck. It's the Elemental, Tower, uh, Elemental Power Tarot deck. Uh-huh. And all this is, uh, is about energy and the elements. Um, so this is air and how you communicate, how you think, um, and your thought, like your thought processes, your communication, um, and also how you like how you take action. But this is you're overthinking lots of things. Mm-hmm. But nines are the matured wisdom as well in her deck. Everything is kind of in this um, more positive light uh, than the traditional tarot decks. Okay. And what I love about this is the fact that you have matured wisdom. You have lived through so much already that you now have collected enough to know how to move forward. So you are overthinking everything, thinking from the past view, instead of remembering that you've lived it, you've earned it, you can do it. Did you tell her all of this? Yeah, I called Diva last <laughs> night. Like we're in the eighth grade. We planned what we were going to wear today. And uh, then we decided to have an entire conversation about little old you. I'm a worry no. wart for sure. That's all I yeah. do is worry. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. You're going to be you, just I, fine. I already knew that because I've, I've watched you worry on this. Yeah, like, you, yeah you did. Huh? I, I got to get a massage like twice a week now because I, it, I got to let out the stress from my mm-hmm. neck. But anyway... That is so awesome that you do this, and and people can find uh, what do they get get a hold of you on Instagram, or they call you to do a tarot reading. Yes, um, I yes on Instagram and also also my website, and I'm very accessible. Like okay. you, if you Google me, you find me. All and right. um, what do you nice. like the most about when you come here to Oahu? What do you like the most when you come to Hawaii? You're well, such a every, spiritual every person. Every time I go to um, Hawaii, and I haven't been there in a while. Right. My grandmother lived there and um, had a house there, but she passed away um and i would visit her all the time and my mom and i would go and we'd always go to the poly the poly lookout Mm -hmm. that's my favorite spot it's Mm -hmm. the most magical i mean it's a crazy spot but i always feel better when i'm there and lean into the wind and and feel that and like i just there's so much energy there's so much energy there uh for people who don't know where the poly is it's a lookout it's about 2,000 2,200 feet above sea level and it over you it overlooks the windward side of oahu and that's where the battle of nuuanu ended so a lot of uh, uh kamehameha's men killed a lot of the oahu warriors mm. i think like 150 were pushed over that cliff so it's a very spiritual place not only is it an amazing place to look at um, but it's yeah, ha- always but has also, crazy winds yes, and l- like a lot of energy. totally but also isn't uh, isn't there like folklore that some of the people that were pushed over that cliff flew black flew back up and over to continue to fight <laughs> that is true there, yeah there's different there is true there's that different true. stories yeah folklore is like the it word. just feels like it's so magical there and yeah there's there is that history that you know of a yeah. battle um but that's it's so beautiful there yeah. and there's there's just it feels like a magical spot and it's and like, i love that there are chickens running around <laughs> <laughs> there's two it, it's two mountains that it's on the lowest uh, the lowest peak so that it's like a wind tunnel yeah and people when we go there when we were kids we would take off our slippers and we'd throw it over the ba- you know the cliff and it would come back around the hawaiian boomerangs because you know, it was so windy yeah. up there but I've yeah, never done that. I yeah. always, I always just go up there and like leap into the wind and get yeah. pushed back, or leap with it and like, you know, fly. fly. Yeah. This thing. Yeah. Well, you're gonna have. Well, next time you come, we'll all have to go up and, uh, uh, you know, visit the poly. Yeah. I would love that. Yeah. I would love that. I know. You need to come back soon. The islands need some diva energy. What out else? On this uh, what else do you like about Hawaii? Um, well, I like going to Lanakai and taking pictures of the sunrise. Mm, yeah. Nice. Um, and I, what else do I like? Um, there, my friend has an awesome shop there that she recycles clothes and uh, oh, makes nice. really beautiful dresses. What's and actually, the name I of designed it? A, a, a dress for her. You oh, know that's the, right. You know the name of the shop? Let's yeah. give her a shout out. Mumu Heaven. Mumu Heaven. That's right. Yeah. They, ha- they have out. a diva designed dress that she recycles old mumu's like the cool yeah, yeah. vintage ones into like hip dresses that's cool yeah I yeah gotta go check Super that out rad. yeah yeah so because you seem like a very spiritual person in hawaii they talk about the aloha spirit do you feel different when you come here yes of course yeah what is it that yeah. you feel um well i i there i always see a sunrise i wake up and go whenever i'm there i drive to the to lanakai and and watch the sunrise take pictures every day and then you know that's my grounding and i just feel really um 
connected in a different way. Like LA is great, but it's not, it's not Hawaii. The energy is different. Yeah. <laughs> well, and the reason I asked that, because people always come and they go, I feel so different when I come here and it's not about the weather either. So that's no, why I, I asked you say, that. You know? I, I, you know, my history with Hawaii is really difficult. So I, my, cause my grandmother, every time we'd go there, we'd have to clean her house and do all this stuff. So it is like with, with how beautiful and special and grounding the energy is, it's also one of the hardest places. I it it's difficult for me to have a good time there, other than going and seeing a sunrise and the Pali lookout. I'm usually really frustrated and I don't like it. <laughs> like it's a it's a real love hate with me with with Diva. Them. You have to go to the Pali and let that go. <laughs> That's why I go there. That's why I go. So <laughs> I can cleanse. actually enjoy my time there. <laughs> to it's cleanse. really like sometimes. It's, I, I have the hardest days when I'm in Hawaii. Yeah. yeah. I, like there's something there that makes me tap into other things and I guess process things. I don't yeah. know. When you were growing up, did you have pressure with that name, Diva? Um, well, I did want to, I felt like an outcast because it was a different name. And I, and I will admit that there was a moment in time where I did not want to have my name. Really? And I want, I wanted, I wanted to be like the other girls, like a Jessica. Or what? A, or a, really? Yep. You were yes. going to change your name? I, well, I mean, you I thought about felt it. they were the popular girls, yeah, yeah. Jessica's yeah. and Julia's. Wow. I was like, why isn't my name like that? Look and who's popular now, that's Jessica and so Julia. crazy. I couldn't even <laughs> imagine it. It would have been insanity. Yeah. But I mean, it's, it's not, you know, it's kind of normal. Like Amit, he changed his name. Actually, he did change his name. He wanted, he went so far as to have um, my other brother, Dweezil, draw on his notebook, his new name. What like, was he his name? That he he well, wanted to be called Rick. You're joking. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> what? Oh, that's crazy. Rick Zappa? Seriously? Yeah. Wow. He, it, I think it lasted like a day because he, he hated being called um, like Omit Vomit or something like that. That's, uh, the, that's, that's a kid thing. That's right? the gift so that's going to keep like, on getting. No one's going to mess with me if my name is Rick. <laughs> I'm going to call him Rick from now on. You've just given me the biggest gift. Oh, uh, that's Ziva. hilarious. I'm going to call him Rick from now on. It's going to be just glorious. I mean, you I mean, you got to admit, the last name already is a, is a, that's a lot. And then you got a, a different first name. So, yeah. I, I, yeah, I wanted to ask you that. But you know. I like, you know, people ask me what's it like to have the name Diva and they also like look at me and be like, are you? Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> when I get that, I'm like, only when I need to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, because you know what, in, when you're Hawaiian, you know, you get somebody names you and then you kind of become that that person, right? Well, yeah. um, that's that's you know? just that's not just in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right, right. like that is. Be, yeah. I like be careful what you name yes. anything because I named my dog Licorice and he licks everything. <laughs> <laughs> and Lanai, oh Lanai, your cat. Uh, yeah, right. yeah. Lanai, she was the best. Yeah, of course. Aww. We yeah. all are. Um, <laughs> what are you working on? What are you working on uh, for the year? What do you, What is it that you have any new projects? Um. Well, I don't know. I'm. Uh, I'm still knitting Emilio and I have, I'm going to be making more um, smaller panels of my wall so that people can experience that in their homes if they want to, you know, have that. So I'm, I'm going to have some of those uh, up and available soon. Cool. Um, but other than that, I really haven't thought about any other kind of. Yeah. Just living day by day. I mean, congratulations on the um, your dad's documentary, though. That was oh, awesome. Yes. Oh my God, yes! We have I know. To talk it's, about it's, that. It's been great. Everyone has really enjoyed it. Have you seen it? You saw it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I I'm married to, to Tori it. Mel, so I didn't get to see it. Where can everyone see it at? It's on Netflix now. No, where is it on? I it's it's streaming. So it's streaming. I don't think it's on Netflix. Mm -hmm. uh, you can rent it on Amazon, probably an Apple Apple like, TV. So did wherever. you produce this? Hmm? You produced this the, the documentary. Um, my brother produced it. Okay. Uh, my mother gave the okay. It's through the trust. Like we we gave access to Alex Winter um, to like use footage and you know free like full access to what has never been seen before. And a Kickstarter campaign was created to raise money to save the vault and save the information that was in there. All the, uh -huh. like, not all the things, but a lot of the recordings in the video and all the things that was used in the movie that's never been seen before was all saved thanks to um, 
the fans. So, yeah. you know, I'm very, I'm very grateful to everybody who pitched in and made this happen. Um, so like, it's honestly one of the best things I've ever seen about my father and, and Amazing. The, the film it's beautifully done and, uh, really explains my dad and in a way that is charming and honest and, <laughs> yeah you know lovely and i mean i'm excited because a whole new generation of people that you know didn't get to experience him in real life yeah are going to be able to understand because he was so far so far ahead of his time yeah. and just you know yelling about a lot of things that are still pertinent today uh -huh. and there's a whole generation of people that i think will resound with that because he was just he was on another level yeah. and people didn't quite understand him in that time period and we're like what is what's the big deal and well, then we are, now and it you, catches as up as human beings you always, if you don't understand you go, oh that's weird or right. you know he's weird yep. or yeah, she's yeah no but weird. he they like lived they like set up tents and partied in the world yeah. of weird and yeah. we're just like we're embracing man like just the water's warm come on yeah. in and they yeah. just were unapologetic about it diva so. how, at what age did you realize that you were part of this zappa family like you know what i mean that uh, day one birth day one yeah <laughs> at birth, birth i mean, yeah. I, mean you I, really, I don't have a choice <laughs> no i know but i mean like you totally understood the power and the name you know because like for example like my kids I, I do tv and stuff but my my kids don't like me they don't think i'm cool but their friends do <laughs> you know what i mean so like <laughs> they can't tell you that they think you're cool <laughs> no, that's not a thing. No, but you know what i mean like how did you at what age did you know that my dad's cool I think she that always knew her right away. We we had a special relationship yeah. um, because uh, by the time I came around, or maybe just because of who I am and who he was, we had this yeah. other connection that I don't think my siblings had. We would watch The Simpsons together, and I, apparently, one of my mom's favorite stories to tell me when she was here um, was that I was the only one who stood up to Frank. <laughs> <laughs> so like I said to him that I didn't like that he was on tour all the time. Oh. Nobody else told him that. Really? Mm -hmm. See the honesty. That's the honesty that that's the bond, right? The honesty. How old were you yeah. when he passed away? How old were you? Uh, 14. Yeah. So oh. she was like young, like it was yeah. hard for everybody. Yeah, but like, you know, 14 is a very seminal age. Yes. So. And that's a tough well, age right there already. It's super tough. But also like, so my siblings, they were adults. They understood and had a yeah. different relationship with him in terms of understanding who he was as a person. And I, I only got as far as knowing I had a dad. Yeah. 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 And now I get to know him more as a person thanks to movies like the zappa documentary yeah i didn't know a lot of the things that i mean i knew about the pmrc and some of the things like that but like i didn't know a lot of the stuff that he's done um and how important like i had an i have an idea of how important he is but until i saw that movie i really didn't grasp just how important he was in so many different ways right. to so many people yeah I can't wait to see. I'm gonna watch it tonight. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Alex Winter, uh, you know who Alex Winter yeah, is. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. You'll need some tissues since you're oh, more. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, he's just more, more open. I, I'm sure. I, I yeah. you know, I the first time I realized that I was really sensitive was on a plane and I was flying to Japan and I and I watched. This is a while ago. I watched Marley and Me. I don't have any. I don't have any. I don't <laughs> have any dog? pets. Shut up. Okay. I they don't. I don't have any pets. All right. And I'm watching Marley and Me, and you know, you're on a plane. Every, all the noise is in your ears. It's not around you. It's in your ears. And I was bawling like a baby oh, that's when, the do, when the dog died. <laughs> and I was like, what's happening to me? You know Alec Mappa's in that movie, right? Yes. Okay. That's, man, I told him the story. Wow. Yeah, I told Alec the story and he was laughing at Look me. Look at you. Anyway. Okay. I wish we could talk to you some more. Can you come back on another day? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Or but maybe... I'm, I mean, I'm also willing to be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you follow me on Instagram <laughs> at Lanai? And I'd love to follow you because I think you're such an amazing person. That's so adorable. Yeah. She just validated you in a very special way. She wants to be your friend. My, my mom says I need more friends. You do. Yeah. My, my circle well, is too tight. Well, look, you can tight. make them. It's possible. Uh, well, you know, as you get older, as you is know, it... you make your circle tighter and tighter and you, you try to yeah. just keep the ones that are Boop. really good. Brooke's still working on it. <laughs> Even though I've known him for 30 years. <laughs> he just got my number like what, last yeah, week? Two no. weeks ago. 
<laughs> but uh, Diva, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thanks for coming on, love, and changing love his life. You. I love you too. Yeah, I hope to meet you soon in person. And uh, please follow Diva. We got a package for you. Oh wait, sorry, I'm gonna do my job now. Yeah, uh, enjoy oh, snacks. We have a, a bunch of gift gift it's packages. It's all those for Japanese you. crackers you like. And oh my goodness, more. I'm so excited. Yeah, we're yes, going to send it to some you. Some dried fruit and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. I'm so, I love snacks. I'm I know so you excited. Do. Yeah. I know you do. It's so. a good, it'll be good for a hurricane. Yeah. It's, it's your, that's your hurricane pack. Seriously? Thank <laughs> you. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Diva Zappa. Thanks. Take I love care. you. Aloha. Love you too. Bye. Aloha. Thank Bye-bye. you so much. It's a Hawaii thing. Whoa. It's a Hawaii thing.